Good morning and welcome back to Husband and Wife Outdoor Life. Ashley and Laura here today for a campfire cooking corner here at the campground. And what are we making today? We are making a lemon blueberry dump cake in our Dutch oven. Ooh, sounds really good. All right, so the ingredients you'll need for this dump cake is a cast iron Dutch oven. We're using a 10 inch today. You'll need your lifter, blueberries, lemon, Pie filling? Yeah, like pie filling or curd. A little bit of Sprite and cake. Cake mix. And probably a whisk and a bowl, a bowl to put it all together. All right, so let's show you how we're gonna prep it. I already have a fire going behind us. Gonna make some nice coals. All right, let's get started. All right, first step is to rinse your blueberries and then pour them as the first layer in the cast iron. So we'll start with that. Another thing to watch out for is any of them that still have stems. Most of them are off, but there's always that little sneaky one. Sneaky one. <laughs> what? When you see a bad one, you just toss it. Squirrel will eat it. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's get this a little bit out there. Uh, the next step would be to add your lemon curd or your lemon pie filling. Um, so we just got the can from local grocery store because we're camping and it's easy Get <laughs> we'll just put it in smell good i kind of want to dip my finger in that it looks good <laughs> <laughs> it smells really good you want to try it just try it oh, just a little Ooh. good mm-hmm delicious. I think that's what you'll use in lemon meringue. Uh, the next step would be just to kind of evenly spread this over the bloobs. Next step is to mix the cake batter in the pot. Is that bowl clean? I just dumped it. Oh, okay. Gave the old camping blow. We just bought this little cake mix. Mm -hmm. Having a little Betty in our bowl. Little Betty. Little Betty's gonna help us out today. What is a Sprite day? Do you have any idea? Uh, this replaces the butter, the egg, and the oil. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I have a question. Is a bottle the same size as a can? <laughs> <laughs> a bottle is 20 fluid ounces. And what is a can? I think it's 12. So, uh, we didn't want to buy a whole case of Sprite, so we just bought a bottle from the little impulse checkout area. But you need a can, so just do about half, okay? Check out because they're pouring it all. Yeah, I was like, well, this is kind of fun. Whoa. I'm not there yet. Okay. We deduce that that halfway mark and a little bit more is just below the label. See that? Okay. Okay. We'll see how well that works out. <laughs> Give it a good whiskey whisk. It looks like, you know, like it's doing something. I don't know. Molten lava reaction. Like lava. Coming out of me like lava. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part of that movie. I know. Me too. <laughs> All right, I'd say that's about good. All right, now that the cake is fully mixed, we'll be pouring it into our Dutch oven and leveling it and then putting it over the fire. Big bowl this year was a good idea. Mm hmm. I had that problem last year. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we, we struggled with bowls yeah. on the last one. We struggled with everything. Didn't have a rolling pin. Didn't have a cutting board big enough. I throw peaches. Spread it around. Pretty much. It actually pretty well did it. Yeah. It's kind of fluffy looking. It's cake. Mm -hmm. Is it bad that we're making the cake before the dinner? Mm. <laughs> Not in my opinion. <laughs> All right. Leave that on the fire for about an hour or until a toothpick comes out clean. Quick side note, you can lick the batter because there's nothing wrong in it. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Time to check the cake. Uh, one thing to take caution of, um, just make sure that you're not going to drop soot or ash into your food when you lid the lift off. Yeah, be mindful of the wind. Ooh. It's not done. You can see it's still got a runny inside, but the sides are starting to poof up a little bit. Um, only leave your lid off for just for a little bit when you're checking. It's very similar to an oven. You don't want to leave that door open for too long. Don't lose your heat. One thing you want to keep in mind with this is to not have any flames going around this because it's a pastry or a cake. You could burn it really, really easily. So we just have coals and very minimal flame. It's a really hot fire without, without the fire. <laughs> Nope, so nope. wet. Good. So it hasn't pulled away from the edges either. Usually you can tell cake's done when it starts pulling away. Ooh, ooh. Oh. oh, that looks good. It's done. Clean. Clean. Hold on. She's ready. Hold on. Picture. Look at it bubbling. Mm hmm. Got mom's little heartbeat. Okay, time for the first scoop. <laughs> it's delicious, girls. Give it a taste. Mm. Is it good? Very good. Five stars. Five stars. As long as it's not out of 10, we're good. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next adventure. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This was really, really tasty. If you give this recipe a try, just tag us on Instagram or, or send us a comment right here on YouTube. Uh, we really appreciate hearing about it. So, Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. See you on the next one.